Welcome back. I'm Pete, and you're watching the Custom Guard Channel. But we're gonna work out a Bobcat today. And it's gonna be awesome. Since this one's a Silverado, maybe you guys could just call me the, the Silverado Man. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, I got a 2005 uh, Chevy 2500 HD, and it's a Silverado. Anyways, yeah, the hood's up. It's got a check engine light. It's got the P0332 for the knock sensors. KS2 circuit low frequency, so these are known for the knock sensors to get water down in there. They get all contaminated, rusted, corroded. So we're going to be putting a couple of new knock sensors in and the harness for the knock sensors. So, it's been a little while since I've done one of these, but I think they're fairly easy. So we just got to pull the intake off. Yeah, this time we're going to be pulling the intake off. So let's get started. All right, the first thing we're going to want to do is pull off this. We're going to need an 8 millimeter. So we'll get the, the intake duct off. This clamp does not want to cooperate. Okay, so next, I just think we're just going to go after it. I'm just going to start on hooking stuff, and you guys will just have to watch. It does look like, yep, this top wiring harness with this plate, got to get that out of there. That baby's just kind of stiff while there's a bull right there. That's better. I believe this is the knock sensor wires right here. Go ahead and get this uh, throttle body connector off. Like there's a breather hose right here. She's a little brittle. I'm gonna be careful. Let's pop this alternator plug off. I believe this harness we're just gonna have to set it up here like this. Maybe I'll get a tie strap. It does look like all the injectors are gonna have to come unplugged. I may have to get a special tool. Yeah, they're not going to cooperate very easily. Get that map sensor. There we go. I have to get this off to the fuel line. We could see if there's any pressure on it. You could bleed it off. It's got a little bit. We'll get a rag. Uh, that's all it had. It's just a little bit. So, so I guess since we're doing that, we can go ahead and get the tool to unhook that. I'm just going to use one of these little cheapies. 
just the little scissors ones for 5 sixteenths and 3 eighths. That simple. Alright, so you gotta pull up on the little gray thing and then push in the button. And they are kind of a kind of a pain. I got them all on that side. That was that was terrible. This side's going to be even worse. I pulled the thing up too far on this one. I guess that's okay. Unless you can't get it to go back in. There we got it. There. Finally, got all those. I'm going to take off this breather. Alright, we got this breather up here. I got it moving. I got it. That's stuck down there too. Let me get a pliers. Alright, now we can rotate that out of the way. Get all these ejectors. We will have to take this Christmas tree holder off. I'll go get a clip, clip tool. Alright, it's a pop on one. The EVAP line, it's captured. I don't want to pull the injectors out. So I think we'll have to snake that through. On our way out. Alright, let's get these... Let's blow it off, and we'll get the intake bolts out. There's a zip tie, I think, underneath the intake gaskets. Alright, let's take off these intake bolts. They are captured. Let me get a flex socket for the back ones.
They are tight. That's all of them on that side. I think that's all of them. Yeah, I think so. Okay, we got a little coolant line right up here in front. Hopefully we don't lose too much coolant. There's two coolant lines. To get a plier for those. You know what we could do? We could unbolt the throttle body. Let's do that. I'm getting a new throttle body gasket in my set. I ordered the whole upper set because it's only oh, it was only a couple dollars cheaper than just the gaskets I needed. I meant to say it's only a couple dollars more. Than the actual gaskets that I needed. We got a mouse nest under there, but we are down to it. All right, here's my cap. I was wondering why the fuel was coming out of there. My little cap did not stay on. I'm going to get a better cap. Uh, got some mouse nest in there. I think we did pretty good. I am going to get the vacuum out. Yeah, they have not been sealed. So when you do these, we'll put some silicone over the top so they don't get water in there. There's the oil pressure sensor. I'll get you guys up here. All right, guys. Uh, so right under here, these things. That's where our knock sensors are. That don't look too bad. Not too bad. It could be a bad sensor. We'll, um, we'll go ahead and measure them. So right, right back there. There's your, this one, that's your famous oil pressure sensor that I've done a couple videos on. Alright guys, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the vacuum out and vacuum this out. I don't know what's going on here. These are some really crappy towels. Some double layer things. Two more to plug up. I'm just gonna scrape my scraper. Let's vacuum a little bit more. Now let's scrape it a little more.
Hmm. Let me see the bull hair is sticking out. I bought this parting tool. Thought it would make a good scraper. It might, but I might have to cut it down and put a handle on it. All right, let's give her a little roll lock. Well, that's, that one's got some junk on it. I scraped them a little better. I'm gonna give a little more roll lock on that one. I think that's clean enough. Let's vacuum it one more time and blow it off and then we'll go for these sensors. I think we're good. Let's just see if we can get the sensors out of there. So you just gotta squeeze them. They're down in there. You gotta squeeze them in the right spot. There's one. Now this one's got water in it. The coat is intermittent on this truck. We're just gonna fix her up how the manual says. They do the sensors do test okay. There's two, there's our harness off. And I believe they're yeah, we're gonna have to blow that back one out. Oh yeah, there's water. So there's some water and oil on both of these. This one's contaminated with oil. I don't know if you guys could see that. So we're definitely found the problem. I don't like how much oil is down in this one. Maybe it's just cruddy water.
All right, let's get them out of there. All right, I grabbed the 22. Let's let's see if they'll come out of there. Yeah, that one's gonna come out. That one's gonna come out. So we're good there. I've seen these break off. I've seen uh, I don't know what was a Rayman race. He broke one off. No, that's definitely engine oil. I'm thinking maybe. And hey, look how corroded that one is. I'm thinking maybe we should pull this cover and put a new gasket in there. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, because there's oil in there. Let's pull that. Let's pull that cover off. All right, guys, let's keep on keeping on. Let's get this engine opened up. cleaned up. Let's buzz these out see what happens. That's not very tight. I suppose we'll have to torque these. Let's blow it off again. Okay. I think we'll have to pry it off. Let's just be careful. I cracked loose. All right, we can see the cam. The engine looks clean on the inside. She did pop a little bit of dirt in the back, but we'll clean that out. One little piece right here. So it has to be the seal here was leaking. All right, we got some new ones. Clean this up. Okay, I think we'll get the, the scraper.
I think we'll get a roll lock on there a little bit. Let me blow all that off back there just a tiny bit. I think that looks really good. We'll grab this, get the throttle body a little bit while we're right here. There is a little bit on this throttle body I don't like. Yeah, some corrosion. I think we're good. Let's clean up that valley pan and get the gaskets ready to go. Well, maybe we'll we'll put a little scotch bright around those those bosses down there. Should be good. That should do it. Yeah. Alright, before we go back on, we'll, we'll take a rag with some brake cleaner. And we'll get it all nice and spotless. Yeah. Yep, that looks really good. Alright, let's go clean up the valley pan and Put the new seals in so yeah i got a doorman my knock sensor kit so two knock sensors and the wiring I think we should test these knock sensors for ohms before we put them back in. 
and then I got the male full kit. Here's one of those gaskets. And here's the other one. So it looks like they just knock right out. It kind of looks that way. I got it. All right, let's go clean this up. It looks like we'll have to wire brush in here. I wonder what kind of surprise we're gonna find in here. Yeah, look at all this garbage. Let me go get a scraper. Looks like somebody was using this for body work. I don't know who could have done that. Right, guys I got this uh, valley cover cleaned up very nicely let's see yeah, I don't know if I told you the numbers but this is a Mayhill intake gasket set and it was only only like you know a few dollars more than just the gaskets I needed and it looks like it's MIS 16340 and it's the whole got everything so Looks like some valve cover seals, you know, this gasket we're going to need, the valley gasket. We're going to need these two, there's some, some fuel injector gaskets, here's some water line gaskets. Uh, a couple valve cover gaskets, uh, I don't know what this whole ring's for, or grommet seal. And the intake gaskets, so we got her all covered. And then I got the doorman. I'll go get the number. I already threw the box. So this is a doorman kit for the knock sensors. So I got two knock sensors and a wiring harness. So it's a 926-084. Alright, I did say let's let's get my meter and see if these read. I think we want about a hundred ohms or is it a hundred K? It's it's a hundred something. So I just set her on ohms. So it's 100K. That's what we want. 
or 99.7. So we could do a little experiment. Yeah, so we're right now. And there there's a there's a tolerance to these. So I think if we switch this to voltage, we probably won't be able to see it. Maybe, maybe it's AC voltage. Yeah. So I don't know. This is one way to test them too. I'll see if I can get you guys down here. All right, I'll just tap on this with this. Uh, this came out of one of my street stock engines, and that's how it came out. Uh, since I'm showing you that, this this is the roller cam out of the mod. mod and this was my best roller cam. She had power, and that's a high lift roller cam, by the way. It's a custom ground. All right, so if we tap on this, we get a voltage. Not much, but that's one way to tell if they're working. So both of these are okay to put back in, and these ones just screw down tight. We don't need no sealer. All right, so these are the gaskets we need, and it'll be the flat side down, so this little, when we push it over the bosses, so I'm just not sure. I think we should put a little oil on there. I mean, I got a pretty dry. And then I think I'm going to go find a big socket. All right, I found a big socket. I think we're going to use the flat end, and I cannot stick my extension in this one. So I think what we'll do... So I'll get out my little three pounder and I'm just gonna you know hold this good and yeah it's gonna slip right in I'm gonna be careful I gotta go in more even all right there we go so it's in a little bit There we go on that one. Alright, there we're in a little bit. And right, we're in on that one. So let's let's lube these up. Okay, I think we're good good to go with the oil. Let's just put some oil on them. So just like that. There we go. So we got those replaced. All right, guys, let's uh, put a little brake cleaner on the rag. Let's wipe all this down. Yeah, we got to wipe all this off really good. I think we'll just do wipe the bottom. We'll wipe the top later or the intake later. Make sure we got all the oil residue off of there. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. Let's uh, set down the gasket. It says something on the gasket. Uh, it's got the part number and Mayhew. 
it doesn't matter as long as all the bolts lined up and it's all sealed around. Yeah, it can only go on one way. We got it on right. So next, let's put a little oil down on them bosses where the seal slides down. Okay. All right, let's grab that valley cover and we'll gently just nudge it into place. All right, so we're centered. All right, that one's going down. There we go. All right, let's grab all the bolts. I think I'm going to use the electric ratchet to run these down. Let's just run them down. We'll get them snug and then I'm going to torque them to 18 is what it says. Torque these. I got the gear wrench. And I've already set this, so let's turn it on. Well, let's just see what happens, I guess. Let's let's kind of do in let's just go two steps. Feels like a little bit of torque for all at once. Alright, the torque wrench is all confused now. Let's, uh, I think we pressed the clear. There we go. Alright, 18.8. You either gotta wait a while or you gotta press the clear. I don't like that. I mean, engineers nowadays, you know. I think we went too tight on that one. Too tight on that one. You know, 20 don't feel bad. I don't think we can hurt anything to wear loose.
Yeah, I think we're good. So I'm talking about 20, just a little over. Feels 20 feels right to me. All right, we got them torqued. All right, let's put the knock sensors down in there. I think we'll torque these. All right, guys, let's uh, let's torque these knock sensors. It says uh, 15 pounds I I'm not gonna torque them to 15 let's try I'll just go over to where it feels right and we'll see what it looks or see what it says that's 15 all right I'm going to 25 I'm happy with that. All right, let's get the wiring harness on there. So we'll go ahead. Let, let's put a little um, dielectric grease down there. I'll just give her a little shot. all right that feels like it's on there so we're gonna go ahead and put a little silicone right around here I use ultra gray you can use whatever you want you can be like GM and not put any on there All right, just like that, we'll slide this down. We'll put just a little bit around this wire. Or something like that. It's on there. We'll do the same thing. There, we did not make too big of a mess. All right, let's see what we got to do to clean up this intake. All right, guys, we got the knock sensors in. Let's let's clean up this intake. So I don't think we're gonna do very much. That bolt fell out. Yeah, they're not too bad. Could have probably reused them. 
But we needed the other gaskets anyways, let's put the new ones on. I don't see any leaks. Let's just take some brake cleaner. Let's blow it out a little bit. fell out, I think. These gaskets up here look fine. We're going to leave them. I don't usually change those. Okay, this side is good. On one of the bolts, where's the bolt? This bolt fell out. It does not look like we got a new throttle body gasket. This one still feels alright. I thought this kit was supposed to come with that gasket. Let me go check and see. Okay, there's there's no throttle body gasket. That's okay. Yeah, it's not going to leak, but if it does, it's easy to get off, but trust me, it's not going to leak. Not even a chance. Alright guys, we just got to clean up a little bit up here and we're going to go back on. Right, let's give this a wipe down. Actually, let's, let's pull these rags out of here. We need to have this so it's back here. Let's run it back here. You know, something like like that. I just got some silicone on me. Right, let's pull all these rags out. I stuffed them down in there really good. All right, let's blow let's blow air in them cylinders. When it was open. That one is open. Alright, let's wipe her down. Alright, two steps on the torque for these bolts. When we get there, it'll be 44 and then 89 inch pounds. All right, I think we're ready. Let's get that intake up here.
Oh, come on. It's going to be a little tricky. I don't know. I'm having a little trouble. Just a little bit more. I think we're close now. Really close. Yeah, my bolts are starting. Let's slide this throttle body on there. doesn't feel like it's sitting down on there. It looks like it's down. <clears throat> Finally got it on there. Feels like something over on this side maybe. It's not down on the on there in the back. Yeah, it's on there now. Okay. Probably just a yeah, it's down there. It's probably just a bolt. I'll get this map sensor on there. All right, let's tighten these down. Let's start with uh the air ratchet or the electric ratchet. Let's just run them down and then we'll, we'll torque them. So maybe this will be our first step. So now we'll do two on this side. And we'll grab this one here. Maybe we'll do three on the side. No, let's go to the side. Okay, let's go back to this side. This one here, I can't even see it hardly. Not enough to get it on there very good. Oh, it came right over here. That's really nice. The socket even stayed on. All right, let's go. Let's go all that. Let's go all the way back to this back corner. Front one. Let's get this other back corner. Well, let's just kind of snug them. This whole side a little bit, maybe. Alright, that's enough. Let's snug from this side. We're just going to do a big X pattern here. I know you're going to say, well, that's not how you do it. I could care less what you think. I've been doing this longer than you. Let's grab them all on this side. Alright, let's 
get the rest of these front ones. And then we'll go ahead and torque them. Alright, let's torque these. We'll see what it feels like. Let's just go in a crisscross pattern. Yep, that's what we got. Starting in the middle. That's what you want to do. I think I went too tight. There we go, I wasn't too tight. I think we'll grab a couple on this side now. Oh, that's just starting the back. Well, there's this one. Let's tighten this one, and then we'll go to the back one. And then we'll work our way to the front and tighten all these on this side. All right, let's grab this next one we just did. This one is tight. Yeah, let's grab this front one. Right, some of these bolts, it must be all these long extensions. There we go. Let's just go all the way back. All right, there we go. We just gotta hook everything up and we'll be good to go. Let's get her done. So we can start with these coils. Let's put this one on. There's that, we'll push the little lock down. They go on easier than they came off. As soon as I say that, this one will go on. I'm gonna pull the lock out. I got it. That's front one. Since we're on this side, let's put the fuel line on. And if we're going to put
put the fuel on them. Let's put the little safety lock on. So it goes on like, like this. There we go. Um, we got this hose here since we're working on this side. And it just goes like this. Like this. And might as well hook up these dock sensors. Go. And we got the alternator here. All right, let's do this side. I just like to start in the back. Yeah, this is a little more difficult to work on than an SB1. We'll be working on one of those really soon. I got that wrapped around. Come on. It does not want to cooperate. I got it on there. That one's on. Here's that one. Yeah, here's this hose. Let's push that on. That hose is getting a little hard, but that'll be, have to be for another time. Let's go down first. What do I got going on here? Oh, it's caught right there. I think we should put a little oil on it. Seems a little dry. Still, there we go. There should be a wire here for here. It is. All right. So now we got a nut that goes here. Three bolts of three nuts. Yeah, we know where all those go. So I think these wires are down in there. Now it's this the beautification cover holder. It just goes right there. I think we're going to be ready to start it up in just a little bit. So that back bolt, we got to wrench it. Let's start these throttle body knots. Okay, this is a throttle body knot. This is a throttle body nut. This is the nut for here. And here's a throttle body nut. Okay.
that's all. Let's start it on there. That's tight. That's tight. That's tight. Yeah, we never had to take off the coolant lines. We are looking good. Let's tighten this one. That's tight. That's tight. That's tight. Nothing left in here but my caps. Let's grab this. Let's grab the, let's grab the iron cube. That's tight. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's let's put the let's put the throttle the air duct on. And let's fire this pig up. Alright guys, did, did I have mentioned that this was a cat eye? Of course you guys all know that. This thing's pretty sweet. Yeah, let's finish this up and that's all we're gonna do for tonight. Napa forgot to bring my power steering line. I'm kinda mad. I got to put a power steering line on here, I guess, tomorrow, and then we'll go off for a test drive. But we'll get it running and clear the codes out tonight, and yeah, let's finish it up. There's something in here. All right, it's just a clamp. I think we need a little grease on this. I got the perfect stuff, a little sill glide. All Silverados need it. That throttle body has a sharp casting mark on it, but I'm just gonna leave it. See what I'm talking about? Right, that clamp don't turn. There you go. Uh, should we see if it runs? It's like brand new. Now uh, let's go in and clear this code. So there's our knock sensor code. No, we don't want to do that. That doesn't do anything, by the way. It's just a Google search. Uh, read fault codes. I'm not sure if this code could clear itself. It probably can. Oh, I must have not liked me unplugging all that stuff. clear the fault codes. I don't remember turning the key on or anything. It says it cleared. Let's read them again. I must have something unplugged.
I just don't think I got anything unplugged. These are all for the throttle body. I must have not got that thing snapped back in all the way. Let's go look at it. Yeah, I did not get it in all the way. There we go. It's funny it even would run. That's the first time for me. I've never forgotten to plug something back in, I'm telling you. I never have, until today. Let's clear them off, they should be gone now. So now it just goes back in and it reads it, that's what it does. So there's nothing. Let's see if the light's off. Yep, the check engine light is off. So we do have to, um, I need a, the brake uh, control module for this thing. Uh, I can't get one anywhere, so I gotta order one. I know what's bad. Uh, Cause if, uh, I'm gonna do a couple more tests on it tomorrow, but let's go ahead and read the code on it. Sounds like we got a little bit of an exhaust leak. Yeah, so the ABS has got a C0246 and so basically tomorrow I'm gonna go out, let's clear it off once. So that's the next part of the test is to clear this off. And I think we gotta drive it above six miles an hour. That's off now. So there, it just came right back on. So we don't even have to drive it. That tells me right there that, so we'll read it. Tells me right there that the module's bad. But we'll check power and grounds on it for sure tomorrow, but that that's gonna, I'm not doing a video on that. So maybe, yeah, it came back with the same thing. Maybe it is a power or ground, but, so I'm down to, it's either the power or the ground or, or the module's bad, that's where I'm at. I haven't checked into that, I, I decided to do the video on the knock sensors for today. Alright, so tomorrow, we'll take it for a test drive, see if we can run some monitors. And make sure that light stays off. So yeah, it. I think it's got an exhaust manifold gasket on the, on the driver's side, because once it warms up, uh, it doesn't, it's nice and quiet now. All right, let's go out and look at it out there once. All right, everything. And we can see down there, there's the valley pan. Yeah, I, think, I think we did a pretty good job. See that's a leak in. Sounds like she could use a tune up, maybe. That'll have to be for another time. There's a little bit of a leak up here on the, on the hydro booster, but they kind of always leak out. The leak I got is down here. Uh, yeah, right down there. It's leaking out of the high pressure hose from the pump to the hydro boost. Alright, guys, it, it's the next day, and I got the. Uh, I got the ABS further diagnosed. It, the pump motor's locked up, so I don't know if that burned out the module or if that's just causing the whole problem. So I just jumped the main power, the two big ones, unplugged that and I unplugged the pump, and I jumpered them, and the motor just clicks. It doesn't turn at all. So that's one good way to test those. I did get the power steering line on there, so I think we're ready to take a little test drive and send her on its way. All right, let's go. All right, guys, uh, here we go. Um, I'm doing a scan right now, so I'm not sure if that'll affect our ABS, but ABS won't work anyway, so. Just wanna make sure our engine is nice and clear. So I'm doing a little scan. I think we'll just go straight. You can tell she's a 2500. She's a riding a little rough. Seems pretty nice though. 
people like these big trucks. Let me see if I can find out where the... Yeah, our power system is in the clear. We'll check it again when we get back. We're not going to go too far. We can't go too far. There's not very much gas. She drives nice and straight down the road. I think when we get down here to turn around, we'll do a key cycle. Because then when we get back, we'll, we'll check the codes. Maybe it's a couple key cycles. I don't know. It seems to be running a lot smoother today, so... I still think we should check and see if it needs a tune-up. That'll have to be for a different day. It's a little windy out today. Alright, here, we're just going to turn around here. The brakes feel good. This has got a hydro boost on it, so... Power steering pump on the brakes and the steering. And I did check the fluid on it, but once we get back, we'll verify the level and make sure it's not leaking. So let's just shut her down right here and... We'll do a key cycle really quick. Alright, let's get back on our way. She runs, she runs beautifully. So, our topology only has the ABS lit up with those two codes. Yeah, two codes. What did it? Oh, now, now it's got C0268 for the pump motor shorted. Well, we knew that. I found that out, but now it's telling me, okay. So I'm assuming the shorted out pump motor could have blew out the module. I'm just going to get the whole thing up. I don't think we're going to get a new one. I don't even know if we can. But right now, I, I look for some used ones, and none of them look very pretty. I think there is a place where we can send it in and get it rebuilt, but that's a little pricey too. And and you got downtime then. The, the last car I did that I sent one in, I, I had a spare that actually had the same problem, but, so we just sent his original one in, and uh, he drove it with mine on there. That car is still going today. Well, let's just pull into the gas station. I gotta get something to eat. Alright, let's shut it off again. Let's start it back out. Let's see if I can get you guys down here more. Yeah, I know it's kind of... You won't be able to see. Alright, so we'll go back. Back. Uh, smart detection. And the power system is still good, so that... I don't know why they changed it to power system, but... PCM or PCM was fine with me. So, so all I can do for right now, I don't want to drive it through a drive cycle like I said. I'm just going to let him have it back because we got some more work to do with this later. He's going to have to make another appointment. So we already know. So that's good enough. We already know that the ABS is going to code because I didn't clear nothing off. So. Alright guys, there you have it. Uh, so that's doing your knock sensors and... You can just about be assured that they're going to be bad because uh, they get water in there. Unless they've been replaced. So you might want to take lift up one of them little foam pads underneath the intake and put an inspection camera in there and look. And uh, Yeah, you can test them right on top of the intake there. Uh, see if they're 100 ohms and tap on the engine and it, it should give a voltage out of each wire. So that's some good things to know and, and help you test or check your diagnose your car. Alright guys, uh, I hope you like it, and uh, thanks for watching, and you can catch me next time.